So do you plan on retiring anytime soon? <laughs> yeah. Not until after he finishes my haircut. <laughs> <laughs> if I if I die. Oh no, I, I think I've been thinking pretty pretty seriously about retiring. Yes, I have to start with basics, go back to um, a community college and hopefully work my way up to the university. Um, actually, I want to be a social worker. Didn't that sound terrible? I want to work for the government because it's got great retirement, 401k, paid vacations, everything in general because I'm getting old, you know, that people look forward to. <laughs> retirement, um, things of that nature. Not to mention it has, you know, um, life and death benefits as far as that goes. I don't want to die and leave my daughter with nothing because that's very hard. Um, but in general, I want to work at the Human Services Department, do a caseworker basically, sit in a nice cushy room, do computer work all day, see people, help people, things of that nature, yeah. if I can. I think I can. I'm not real sure I haven't looked into that totally yet. I don't really know what I wanted to do. Just kind of out there in life. I don't know. I like welding. I like metalworking fabrication. You know, I think being an attorney will pay a lot better. I want to go to law school at UNM, then I'll take my LSATs probably in February and getting that ready to go and everything. I don't know, the world's full of possibilities. You know, Barbie's been pretty good for me. Uh, I have, all my kids have college education. And uh, so I haven't had any problem making a good living cutting hair, but you can only do so much with your hands. This young man right here, I say, boy, don't cut hair and go to college <laughs> and become a professional. Now, it, uh, it, it's a good trade, but it, uh, you, you can do much more with your brain than you can your hands. And like you're doing, going to school over there and learning, getting a good education, that's the thing to do. I ain't going to worry about it now. I'm 70 years old. Well, you know, the whole stay in school thing is kind of cliche, but basically, you know, that's the way it has to be. And, you know, and the old saying goes, anything worthwhile is, is not easy. And school's not easy, life is not easy. And kids are under the impression that if they can go from one environment to another, dropping out of school and getting a job, and it's easier. And it's not, you got people bossing you around, you gotta pay taxes, you gotta pay bills stay in school as long as you can. If I could live it, go back and live at home and go all through college and not have to worry about having a kid, a husband, paying bills, and just think about me, I'd do it. I'd do it in a heartbeat. I, I'd put off having, I didn't even have my daughter until I was 21. So I waited anyway, but I'd put it off a lot longer. So I'm 31, so well, I'm having to start over as it is and it's hard. So. Take, take advantage of your youth and stay with it, that's what I would say, because the second time around is always a lot harder. Well up.